All right, and welcome back after a very brief break. As mentioned, we have ongoing matches. This train has no breaks. This train stops for no thing and no one. So we are continuing onward here in our Sunday afternoon in the groups week. It is a group C matchup next. It is team Roblox Kirby versus team SoCal Supremacy already in progress. We have Roblox Kirby currently up two to zero as they have just gotten underway. I'm still here, I'm still T1G joining me for this match is going to be Dio, who has made it back. Welcome in, Dio, and welcome to uh, the group stage. Thank you very much. Glad to be here after uh, having been away for much of the weekend. Made it back uh, just in time for this matchup between Roblox Kirby and SoCal Supremacy. Um, I think this is kind of an interesting matchup that you have here. This is... Uh, the first seed in the group versus the bottom seed in the group, uh, with Roblox Kirby being that first seed, SoCal Supremacy being that bottom seed, but some very good players on the side of SoCal Supremacy, nonetheless, players like Caleb, like You're Cute, like Rakoal, who's a very good four-digit tournament player, uh, like Easy Chalk as well, uh, of course, Utami also on their roster. Um, a little bit less familiar with Kato Megami and Rocketeer Rover, though Rocketeer Rover, a pretty solid uh, formerly five-digit tournament player. Uh, and then, of course, Freddy making uh, what may <laughs> be an open rank debut here. Uh, don't expect to see too much of Freddy in this lobby, mostly uh, Freddy known for refereeing some commentary a few years back and uh, doing a lot of work for the SoCal Ospin, particularly with uh, University of California, Irvine. Uh, Roblox Kirby, though, with a lot of very, very solid tournament players on their teams, Gat Sophia, Rudd, Ohio, uh, probably that's a name change, Extremities Haunt, Bewal, and Birchman. Yeah, I'm I, trying to find out. I don't actually know who Ohio is. Uh, very obviously some kind of name change or other. Um, but this is uh, a team that already has one win today. Roblox Kirby 6-4 to four earlier over Grease Monkey Deluxe. Um, so they are, uh, are in a good spot. Going to have some confidence coming into this match. This is the first of the two matches this weekend for SoCal Supremacy. So we have not seen them as of yet. Um, Roblox Kirby looked decently strong. That was a tough matchup, that uh, group top seed versus group middle seed. Um, a really closely fought one in this group. Um, so we'll see uh, if we get another close one. You know, that that 10k VWS average looks really funny on SoCal Supremacy. Uh, obviously, Freddy tanking that a long way down. <laughs> it would be... Uh, I. Yeah, I don't know exactly it, what it, it would be. It'd probably be around him, a thousand would be, without yeah, him. It would yeah, be, it would be, you know, high four digit um, otherwise. Um, but it looks like we are going uh, to go into the DT3 here. Haven't really seen very much of this um, uh, kind of control based, you know, some finger control elements and some awkward notes to this pick. Um, really quick, um, looks like Hard Rock 3 and Hidden 3, the early bands. Hidden 2, Nomad 4, both protected. Free Mods 1 and Nomad 1, the first couple of picks, both as mentioned, won by Roblox Kirby and route to this 2-0 to zero lead. And uh, the pick here from Orbox Kirby looking to consolidate breakpoint in that case for a 3 0 lead. We'll see how it goes for them. Yeah, a Roblox Kirby also did not play this map in their previous match either. So this is a uh, brand new pick for uh, Roblox Kirby. So we'll see how well this goes for them. Starting out pretty well, though. Uh, three full combos. But while you're cute, both dropping. Caleb and Skiazzo dropping near the start here. Tommy Easy Chalk versus Rudge Haunt at the moment. Pretty much even combo. There go Caleb and Haunt. And now you have a full combo advantage for the side of SoCal. But there goes Easy Chalk. There goes Utami. There goes Caleb once again. And now the advantage right back over to Roblox Kirby. Rudge and Skiazzo able to hold on to these big combos. Rudge still on the FC. Skiazzo on the reverse choke, but very, very rough in the accuracy. 85, 86% for Skiazzo. So that combo doing all the heavy lifting there for that score. Still about 130, 140k for Schiazzo. So if that combo goes down, it's really all going to be on Rudge with that 96 act. But the wall having trouble, Utami missing again, Caleb missing again, you're cute missing again. It's too many misses here for SoCal Supremacy. And unfortunately now down about 400,000 score. I don't know if it matters whether Rudge misses anymore. 
Yeah, this is getting really out of hand here. This map is just so challenging to keep the consistency on with the sliders, the buzz sliders especially. We've seen a lot of breaks on those. Uh, the little controly aim elements you see people breaking on, the tapping you see people breaking on. This is not a, a map archetype that you see a whole lot of, and I think that explains to some degree why you see so many players having trouble. As there go Rudge, Haunt, and Easy Shock, as well as Caleb just before. Uh, so you've got Utami and your cube, but quietly it's been Skiazzo building a big combo up as he finally falls. Bedwall now the only uh, the only combo left in the lobby, but he's more than matching Utami. And with an 800k lead, this one's going to come down to the ending very comfortably here for Roblox Kirby. And it's going to be a 3-0 lead with a large score there from Rudge. That's like 660 plus thousand score. Really, really strong. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, already looking very, very solid for them. They're going to be up 3-0 after this. That's halfway to the win. And so for Roblox, Kirby already entering the second half of the match from their perspective. So Cal Supremacy really needing some kind of a solid pick here for themselves to get into this match and get a foothold here. Uh, it has been the 3-0 so far for Roblox, Kirby. I'm not sure if SoCal Supremacy has already picked their protect. Um, so we'll see if they have anything like that left up here. Uh, hopefully get the MP link updated in chat. Hopefully get it on the main sheet soon as well or on the website um, so that we follow along here. But for now, uh, just waiting on the overlay update to show us everything that's happened so far. I know you gave us a quick rundown, Aaron, but... Uh, yeah, I'm working on it here. All right, well, there's everything on the... There's everything on the screen. I, is that yeah? That that will be uh, that will be correct on the screen there. Um, so that will give you the what's what, the who's who, the where's where. Um, I am working on the MP link as we speak, but for now, yeah. waiting on the second pick here for SoCal Supremacy. And I feel like if you're down 3-0, you just want to get as much of a guaranteed win as possible. So maybe dip into the protect here. Maybe dip into something a little similar if there is any other low AR uh, reading map left in the pool here. Of course, that hidden two AR 7.7. 7. Uh, the only one that's kind of close to that lower approach rate is that free mod two at AR 8.9. Everything else uh, above AR 9 in this pool. So it is just going to be the protected hidden two here. That AR 7.7 7 reading map 163 BPM. Also CS 5.8, so a little bit of precision in this map as well. Uh, we'll see how well SoCal Supremacy can deal with this sort of a pick and whether that protect is going to be enough to put a point on the board because I think if you lose your protected pick, you're down 4-0. It starts to look pretty grim for your prospects at winning the rest of the match. Yeah. You don't like to say that a map is a must win before we've even gotten to the second ban phase, but it does kind of feel like that might be the case here. Um, and, it, you know, it, it, with your protect still available, you you just, uh, yeah, you, you have to pick your protect here and you have to win your protect here. And I, I think that's kind of just all there is to it, right? Um, down break point that's already been consolidated and with uh, not the greatest scores on these first couple picks. Actually, I, I take that back. We'd have a literally 28,000 point difference on the Nomad 1, um, but that uh, that DT3 did not look great. So, uh, wow, we're we're seeing Freddy in for this. I, I'm a little concerned for SoCal Supremacy. Unless he's secretly the GOAT of low AR in 70K rank range. We will see. We will see. Every once in a while, you get a player like that, so uh, only time will tell. But the start of the map, not looking too hot for Freddy here. Uh, unfortunately, Yurku also having some trouble with this as Utami recall on uh, better accuracy. Utami not on the full combo either here, but you've got Extremities, Gyatso on the full combo for Roblox, Kirby, Haunt, and Babal also finding those misses. 
and so it's kind of traded back and forth here, but the accuracy much better overall for Roblox Kirby, uh, whereas you've got the 82% for Freddy, the 89, 90% for your acute, uh, everybody above that 92% mark for Roblox Kirby. So despite the combos getting traded back and forth, it's mostly in favor of Roblox Kirby and the accuracy helping them out as well. Ricole now also giving away that combo. Utami dropping the last big combo here for SoCal Supremacy. And now you have Extremity Skiazzo on the double FC. Haunt was holding big combo there until a second ago. But Wall is now on a bigger recovery than any combo on the side of SoCal Supremacy. And this map as well, way in the favor of Roblox Kirby, halfway through a 400,000 score lead for them with not really any chance at a comeback here for SoCal Supremacy at the moment with how the combos are looking. The FC is still going for Skiazzo Extremities and nobody at 100 combo for SoCal Supremacy. Yeah, SoCal Supremacy just, I, I, I don't know. There's no way to know exactly what's going on behind the scenes, um, but clearly uh, ill-prepared in this instance. Uh, it, it, if not for the match in general, at least for this map. Um, Extremities and Schiazzo, though, just uh, going to focus on those guys, putting up some really solid scores for Roblox Kirby. I mean, this would be a solid performance regardless of what they were facing on the other side uh, with how challenging this map is overall. Uh, 95 Ack on both, still holding on to those combos on both. Bellwall and Haunt starting to build up a little bit of combo. Utami and Yurkut have a little combo as well, but when you're trying to bring back 750k, a little combo just does not cut it, unfortunately. And this is going to be another very definitive pick here, it looks like, for Roblox Kirby. The lead, almost a million, going to crest the 1 million point barrier into this ending. And this is going to be 4-0. It's going to be double break points. It's going to be everything going in their favor. Shout out to my boy Extremities. This is uh, a mechanics map for him. Just uh, <laughs> easy reading, easy reading for Extremities. Did not know Schiazzo had that dog in him. Does finally find the miss here right before the end of the map, but fantastic score for Schiazzo as well. Uh, Extremities looking to close out the full combo through the awkward aim here in the end. I think that's the last slider in the map as well. And there it is, 840K full combo for Extremities on the AR 8, uh, 7.7 low AR pick here in the hidden two um honestly expected this guy is uh e even among open ra let's call him the new yokes pie because that's kind of yeah. what he is yep. he is uh lower ranked than yokes pie right now but i think eventually if he keeps up uh what he's been doing for a while and continues to play in open rank tournaments like this um is on that track basically ridiculous low ar reading player plays a lot of easy dt as well uh so eventually i expect him to start dipping into that same kind of gimmicky dt focus that yokes by had as well and uh he, he looks better and better every open rank tournament i see him in yeah i am never not impressed by extremity's skill set when i see it the dude is so good at a skill set that so few people are at that level on um, it's always really impressive to watch what he's capable of on these uh, on these types of reading maps. Um, Single-handedly, just always makes you want uh, easy to be available on free mods because uh, of the things that he can do as well, which is uh, very cool. Always uh, fun to see those more unique styles of player uh, that are capable of doing things that not many people can. We're going to go into the second ban phase here. It's going to be a quick Nomad 5 ban from SoCal Supremacy. Um, not really anything leading to that, so just a map that they don't feel comfortable with, I guess. There's been no speed picked so far, no real raw tapping, uh, so not anything to, to judge that on, but just not a map they're comfortable with. It's a very challenging, uh, high BPM tapping map. Yeah, and I feel like, uh, with the rosters for both of these teams, you know, you do have some speed players on the side of SoCal Supremacy, but it's, that's really not something that their roster is super solid on. Um, so not too surprising here when you see players uh, like Rudge, even Extremities can play speed. Um, again, an easy DT player. So he's gonna drop the 92 act, but he might still have the combo anyway. Um, so I think a solid ban for them regardless here. The Hard Rock 2 banned out for Roblox Kirby, uh, not wanting to deal with that CS 6.5 Hard Rock. Uh, again, I think a lot of their players less suited to the hard rock. You do have players like Birchman who can play hard rock pretty well. But uh, aside from that, a lot of m people who are more comfortable on either the DT or the Nomad or the Hidden as they pick right into the Hidden 1. 
interesting. You ban out... So... Hmm. I mean, this hidden one is so different from the other two hiddens. Chili and I were talking about it in the, in the previous match. Like, they're three very, very different hidden maps. Um, you ban the hidden three, which is, you know, kind of rhythm, control aim. Um, you win the hidden two because you have a couple of really good reading players on your team. And you go into the hidden one, which is, like, light tech mechanics. Um, I just and this feel is a good like, mechanics team. Yeah, you've got a solid mechanics team. You've got a solid hidden team. Like, it just seems like a reasonable pick. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, a lot of their even lower ranked players, Bawal and Birchman, uh, can do pretty solid on this. Uh, we just got, saw Skiatso on the previous map. Uh, Rudge, Fie are going to be pretty solid on this. Haunt is going to be, I think, a good option for this map as well. So there's a lot of people who can go in for this for Roblox Kirby. On the side of SoCal Supremacy, I think you're just, if you... Uh, want to, uh, yeah, a solid roster. This is probably going to be it. Utami, Ricole, you're cute, and Caleb. I don't think there's too many questions about the roster for this team here as we get Skiatso, Rudge, Haunt, and DeWall on the side of Roblox Kirby for this thing. Couple early breaks here. I've seen a surprising number of early misses on this map in uh, every time it's been played. Rudge, the wall, Cal, and Recoil all breaking at the start here. So it's Skiatso, Haunt, and Utami, Yurkut on the remaining FCs. Um, everybody else, the other four, all missing in the early stages as we get a little, uh, I believe, just a Banjo freeze probably here. Hopefully this will sort itself out. This is a map that is quite consistently difficult basically throughout. Is that a... Not a disconnect in the MP link. I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Yeah, I don't think it's a disconnect. I'm pretty sure it's just client. Yeah, so maybe we'll see... Uh, maybe we'll see a panic, or maybe we'll see the client just catch itself up. But regardless... Uh, no DC in the lobby MP link so far. Maybe Rudge's connection as well, and that might be why the MP link has not registered a disconnect. But uh, for now, a bit of a boon here for SoCal Supremacy, up to 40k, not counting Rudge's score. Uh, Skiatso Haunt still on the full combos, the wall, and there's a. Never mind, there's no longer a boon here. For SoCal oh, Supremacy, Rico. as oh, halfway through Rico disconnect. So now we have a straight up 3v3 past the point <laughs> of no return for both of these teams. So you know what? Uh, we're just gonna, I guess, if we close out of Ricole's client and it reloads itself, it'll make the score actually even for both sides, and we can get the pure 3v3 score line for both of these teams, I believe. Um, oh. This is going to be a fun one to sort out once it's over. I, th this is going to be a great time for everyone. Because um, I have no idea what's actually going to happen. It does. We do have a double FC still, by the way, on each side. Scouts of Haunt, Utami, you're cute. Uh, so, and there's a big advantage for Cal over the wall, right? Nearly 200k coming down to the ending here, um, which is giving SoCal Supremacy a, a lead. But I don't know. We're gonna have to just wait and see what happens with these other players. If they're if they're continuing offline, they have proof of score. Or what exactly is gonna occur? Double yeah, FC I... on both sides if they can hit the ending. But the ending is challenging. And in the meantime, there's now a break from Caleb. The wall with 500 combo going into the ending here. It's only a 60, 70k score lead. But there goes Haunt. There goes the wall as well. Caleb will reset in turn, but it's still the double FC here for Utami and your cute Skiatso, the only one on the side of Roblox Kirby with that FC intact. So it's going to have to be a bit of heavy lifting here from Rudge versus Ricole if they do want to win this based off of the AFK scores. But just from the scores in the lobby, double FC here for Utami and JP. Caleb on the 560k as well, beating up a wall by a good 140,000 score, about 100,000 score difference between your cute and Haunt as well. So about a 240k score lead just from the 3v3 here. So unless Rudge is ahead of Recoil by 250k or so based off their local scores, that is a win and a point on the board for SoCal Supremacy. So we'll see uh, what the verdict is here as uh, everything gets sorted by the end of it. But on paper, just from what we saw in the pure 3v3, a 240,000 score lead or so for SoCal Supremacy uh, means a pretty tough 
tough, uh, a pretty tough score line for Rudge to have to beat there over Recoil, uh, just based off the local scores. If they do want to take that point and go up 5-0. Yeah, I am not really sure what's going to be the case here. We ended up just in the MP link. It's just the 3v3 with Rudge gone as well as Recoil. So this might actually just be a 3v3 <laughs> score because I don't know if I, I'm assuming like we're going to make efforts to get, you know, scores um, from the players we call D seed mid map. As did I just don't know what happened with Rudge. That's the confusing one. I think it's probably okay. Recall has a score. If Recall has a score and Rudge doesn't, then it's just over. Um, let's see here. What did we get? Uh, so Recall put up. Wait, Recall almost F seed. <laughs> Recall oh. put up a nine fifteen k. Okay, uh, so there's at a, that no point, way I, that Rudge's that score point, ever beats that by 240k. Yeah, at that point, it's just unwinnable for, for Roblox Kirby. So, yeah, with that in mind, like, that's just going to be point to uh, to SoCal. I don't, there's not a way that, there's not a way that Roblox Kirby can win that at that, at that juncture. Yep. Yeah, if Recoil put up uh, 910k, I mean, the max that you can get with a double S is 1.06 million, and that's only 150,000 more. So there's actually no way for Rudge's score to have possibly been the difference maker there. So that is a win. And the first point on the board for SoCal Supremacy, making it a four to one score line and a break point at that in <laughs> their favor. So you know what? Maybe we dip into some more of those pure mechanics. Maybe we get some, uh, some Hard Rock 1 or some DT1, something like that. Uh, something a little more straightforward here because uh, that kind of map in the Hidden One definitely worked out very well for SoCal Supremacy. Or, you know, maybe with a, a bit of the Flow Aim challenge that wasn't that Hidden One, a lot of those streams were relatively spaced. Maybe we see them dip into the Nomad 2 as well. Could be an option for this team. Yeah, I think it's a little more about kind of that consistency aim. So I think maybe the Hard Rock 1 would be the play. Um, the, the question mark for me on the DT one is that it is 10.3. Uh, so you would need to make sure your players are super comfortable with that, um, which they probably are, but a little less certainty involved. Um, I I like the idea of the Hard Rock 1 pick here. I think uh, you know we did have the Nomad 1 earlier before we opened the matchup on stream, um, which while Roblox Kirby won, it was only by literally 28,000 points. So it, they've already shown has SoCal Supremacy. They, they can contest aim. They've come very close on one and won the other. Uh, so I do think that that Hard Rock 1 might be the play here, and it is indeed. Yeah, you're going to have to walk me through that one a little bit uh, in terms of where the diff spikes are, what the most difficult patterns consist of. Of course, it's... most hard rock ones, you kind of expect inconsistency, a little bit of streams, maybe a little bit of awkward aim, maybe. Um, but being out of town the entire weekend, I unfortunately did not get a chance to look at a lot of the map pool um, yeah. before starting off casting this match. So this is this is just a hard rock one. I mean, it is pretty much like the archetype standard. Um, it's 205 BPM of largely just aim consistency. Um, so you you kind of know what you're getting into ahead of time on this particular pick. Um, it's not one that has been played a huge, huge amount, I don't think. Um, I, I tell a lie, it has been played a few times. Um, but we've seen some decent scores, some, some scores in kind of the 3 million mark, but it's your usual, um, you know, J rock. Okay. Here's the, here's the verse. Here's a diff spike. Here's the key. I, here's a diff spike. Um, to my, to my memory. I have, unfortunately also, I don't think, I don't know that I've actually seen it in the matches I've commented. So I'm coming to this from just having looked at it like one time, but, uh, from, from memory, very much your standard, uh, standard hard rock one type of slot where the diff spikes are exactly where you would, uh, where you would expect them to be, where the jumps are exactly where you'd expect them to be. Well, getting into it here, hard rock roster for SoCal Supremacy, Utami, Easy Chalk, Gear 2, and Rocketeer Rover in this time. Uh, again, formerly very, very good five-digit tournament player has ranked up since, and 
gotten a couple badges, I believe, so uh, is now in the four-digit rank range. Scatso, Ohio, formerly known as Ahio, uh, from the Netherlands, Haunt and DeWall in for Roblox Kirby. Currently, the full combo is in favor of SoCal Supremacy, with Haunt and DeWall holding the FCs on the side of Roblox Kirby, Scatso and Ohio having broken early on. Utami, Easy Chop, your cute, all holding the FCs, and Rocketeer Rover not too far behind, only about 50-60 uh, combo behind that FC. Maybe your cue to break on kind of really not a whole lot. You do see some of these little kick slider patterns able to catch people out. Here's one of the big jump patterns. Slightly less comfy than some hard rock ones, but still kind of embracing that spirit of the major aim into the ki, -I, major aim out of the ki -I type of scenario. Um, you get breaks from Utami, your cue rocks here over Ohio and Bellwall over the last little bit. So it's easy shock holding against Haunt, but Skiazzo on that backing combo. And again, one little jump section out of the Ki, no uh, no big breaks. Your cute and Rocky Rover did fall again, but they had not much combo to begin with. But this is putting a lot of eggs in the easy chalk basket here as the only real big combo on that side. Skiazzo falls, and so it's Haunt and Bedwall versus Easy Shock and Utami on kind of similar, no, he's, uh, yeah, excuse me, on, on kind of similar combo. I'm sorry, I thought I saw a bench on this. I did not see a bench on this, I apologize. Another couple of misses to come through, though, for Rocketeer Rover and your cute Ohio will trade them out, but uh, that is more misses overall for the side of SoCal Supremacy. So now a 15k score lead and climbing for Roblox Kirby. Skiazzo on a better recovery than either JP or Rocketeer Rover here. Uh, and I misspoke earlier, Rocketeer Rover, no badges so far. Has had a few good tournament performances in the past, but... Uh, not quite bad yet. And unfortunately, another miss to come through for JP on the side of SoCal Supremacy. Nobody else breaking during this section, though. And so these big combos just holding steady, but there goes Bawal. That's the big combo down for Roblox Kirby. Now just the FC on Haunt versus Easy Chalk. But Utami with the big supporting combo here for SoCal Supremacy. Unfortunately, JP, Rocktear, Rover have not been able to hold on to any of that consistent support for SoCal Supremacy. So Skiazzo and Ohio actually pretty much matching Utami's 700 combo there combined. And so this is really not coming back the way of SoCal Supremacy very quickly. And in fact, going back the way of Roblox Kirby still with combo lead now. And unfortunately, just too many misses coming through from those bottom row players on the side of SoCal Supremacy. The wall will trade out another couple of misses from Rocketeer Rover, but it's all on these FCs right now. Easy Chalk and Haunt, if either of them breaks here, coming up on the last PI now, it can swing it easily the other way. There goes your cute though, and now it's just Utami versus these two big combos. There goes Easy Chalk as well though, and I think that's the nail in the coffin here for SoCal Supremacy with no FC left on their side. Ohio and Skiazzo matching Utami and Haunt untouched on the full combo here for Roblox Kirby. It's going to be yet another break point in a row, this time in favor of Roblox Kirby, this time for the 5-1 match point scoreline. Yeah, it, it was surprisingly close for a very long time when you consider how the bottom two players over there for uh, SoCal Supremacy have been doing. Um, but it's going to end up being nearly a 500k score lead by the end. Haunt bringing home the full combo with really good accuracy as well. 99.46 ack on that FC. Very well done to him. Schiazzo and Ohio on good backing scores as well. 481k final margin. Your cute and Rocketeer Rover distant fine, you know, distant seventh and eighth scores on that. Needed more out of those two. Needed and maybe an FC out of one of the others as well. So Cal Supremacy, which is kind of behind that whole way through. And now we go on over to match points for Roblox Kirby. Their own pick here to come as well. They are in the driver's seat in this match, looking to close it out here in a pretty dominant fashion, barring the hiccup on Hidden One. Yeah, and now you've got wins on a wide variety of different types of maps. You have a more comfortable win on aim consistency there. Not that there's any really left in the pool outside of that DT1. Um, you have uh, some more comfortable wins on the low AR reading. So free mod 2 presents itself as an option. Uh, you have wins on some more gimmicky skill sets as well with the free mod 1 alt pick and the DT3 kind of 
gimmick reading control pick there as well. So a lot of different maps that can present themselves and they're just going to go with the protect here. It's been uh, a pocket pick this entire <laughs> time here for Roblox Kirby and they've saved it for last year. The Nomad for Precious Promise by Log. And uh, as we see so often in Corsair's pools, holding to their slot archetypes in this Nomad 4 is really no different. Um, very slider, aim heavy Nomad 4 pick. Uh, relatively short map, but uh, at just sub two minutes, uh, but has a couple of pretty challenging sections. You go a short intro into you know the slider aim, a little bit of a break in the middle into some more slider aim. And uh, that's that's basically does it for the map right there. Um, but this is again, you, you talked about like a lot of different skill sets being played in this match. And again, we're gonna see a, a new skill set brought into play here. Hidden one is a very very light, as as light tech as light tech gets. Um, and so this is the only time we're really gonna see a slider aim pick in this pool in this match. And so hard to say like oh this is guaranteed to be favored one way or the other but if it's your protect and you save it to match point to pick you're probably pretty confident in it yeah absolutely and i think the solid part about this is that even if they do lose this pick i feel like there's not a lot left that you can be comfortable picking if you are socal supremacy right um, maybe you felt a little comfortable in the hard rock one because that went on the hidden one but that turned up wrong as well um, and then this is to my knowledge really the only slider tech pick in the pool with yeah. all the maps that have already been picked and banned um, so there's not anything left to really go off if you do win this nomad 4 as the side of socal supremacy it's not like this gives you information to the rest of the pool um, so i think this is a very solid pick to pull out here not only for being the protect but also just from a pool information standpoint there's just not that much left and what is left is things that Roblox Kirby have already won on in terms of the overarching skill set in the map. So I think this should be a very good pick for Roblox Kirby, regardless of the outcome. We'll see what the rosters end up being for both of these teams. I think you're going to expect a pretty similar roster here for SoCal Supremacy, probably just your cute uh, Utami, Easy Chalk, and probably recall in for this one um, as for roblox kirby of course with rudge having those internet issues on the hidden one uh probably not going to be seeing him but uh, oh actually rudge is back in the lobby now so assuming those internet issues are fixed skiazzo haunt and the wall joining him for this pick and it's actually yeah, caleb I... joining for socal supremacy as well yeah, I was going to say, uh, Rudge mentioning in the general chat and Discord that he uh, was back online, does have his uh, everything back together, so we'll see uh, what his performance looks like on this pick. And Must win, obviously, the rest of the way through here for SoCal Supremacy. Like you said, don't give away a lot of information if you lose this as Roblox Kirby, but having this be your protect means that you are very, very pleased with the opportunity to pick it here. Early break is going to be from Cal as we get into kind of this first tricky slider aim section. The buzz slider is catching him out a couple times there, in fact. And it is going to be advantage to Roblox Kirby to start this off. Cal already falling a bit behind the accuracy department, helping out Roblox Kirby as well. 95 on Recoil, 96 on Utami versus several 99s on the side of Roblox Kirby. There goes Recoil as we hit the halfway mark, this break in the map, and you already see a 200k lead. And really, a lot of this is just coming from the fact that this is still a four-way full combo for Roblox Kirby, right? Um, yeah, Ricoel and Caleb are still putting up good accuracy. You still have two FCs for Utami and you're cute, but the four-way FC is just unmatchable here unless you're doing exactly the same for the side of SoCal Supremacy, and that's not the case here. JP and Caleb will break alongside Haunt. So it is a traded FC for FC, but there goes a second FC now for Roblox Kirby. It's still two full combos in their favor, though. Rikoel now also matching the break from the wall. It's a good trade for SoCal Supremacy, but not enough. Utami, the only left full combo left standing on their side. Skiazzo and Rudge still holding this two-way FC here through a relatively simple section. Just these streams, some easier slider shapes in this part of the map, so a bit of free combo. And unfortunately, a miss on the aim for Rikoel during that section as well. So just more and more squirrely built up and at this point there's no map time left there's just a sliver of the map remaining we're coming into the ending sliders here the double fc still going strong one fc for utami 
not even close on this map, unfortunately, for SoCal Supremacy. 750k score lead off the back of full combos all held into the second half there for Roblox Kirby. One slider break or two slider breaks for Bawal, two misses for Haunt. 600k across the board at the very least alongside that double FC. Yeah, and that's just going to do it. I mean, Roblox Kirby, a really, really solid performance there on that last pick. Everything you could hope for. Four FCs through the halfway mark, two FCs finishing it out. And uh, just the team difference almost the entire way through this match. It was really, uh, it felt never, never really in doubt. Uh, Roblox Kirby just clearly had the stronger team um, for the vast, vast majority of this matchup. And uh, they'll be walking away with a very comfortable 6-1 win. That's going to put them to 2-0 in this group. They're going to come out of the group as the top seed. And uh, SoCal Supremacy going to be in a tough position because they do have their match remaining against the other team in the group, Grease Monkey Deluxe. But now that they've only gotten one point so far versus Grease Monkey getting four, it means they have to win a pretty one-sided affair to have a chance of getting through the group even as the second seed. So that'll be a tough one um, for, for them. But Roblox Kirby, meanwhile, going to be cool, calm, and collected onward into uh, the next round now with a 2-0 record. Well done to them. Uh, on a couple of very solid matches. Yeah, they clinched the first seed in the group and they move on to week two in style. Uh, that 6-4 match, of course, very close versus Grease Monkey Deluxe, but 6-1 here versus SoCal Supremacy looked very good throughout the match. It was just that hidden one uh, with the hiccup there, but other than that, looked very, very good for themselves in this matchup. So very well done to them and that's going to be it for us for now. 